board here. We got cash right there. You know who we don't have? Kicks. We don't have kicks. Where's kicks at? Dude, kicks has been missing for weeks. He's just like he's got something going on every week. Yeah, every week he's got something. What, what, something what excuse did he give us this time? He, he texted me. He said that uh, he's at the petting zoo. <laughs> The, the petting zoo. He's there by himself, though. What a strange... He said he didn't realize how much he liked goats before. Yeah, he said no. goats, and then he said, like, you know, lambs are just like goats. So, he's, he's last time we knew he was over petting lambs. Yeah, he's petting. He's petting. All right. Things. I don't know. Well, maybe, uh, <coughs> we'll, we'll see him next week, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully. Tune in. Maybe kicks will be back. All right. Who knows? He's, he's a busy guy. Uh, <laughs> this week we got, that was a long intro, <laughs> this week we got some German cookies to try. Oh yeah. I was gonna say man, this, <laughs> this bag of friggin' snacks right here looks real good. It reminds me of like the, uh, the assorted bag of cookies you'd find around holiday time, like Christmas or something. I've got high hopes for these, uh, these tasty treats. What do you think, Howard? I'm excited. You're looking good? Looking good enough for you? The chocolate covered pretzel. Who doesn't like a chocolate covered pretzel? I was just gonna, that's where, immediately where my eye went to. It kind of looks out of place there's, with all the other cookies, you know what I mean? There's one that's like a twirly right there. It looks like a little cinnamon bun, man. Yeah, it's, but it's got like all these cookies and then chocolate covered pretzel. It just seems we have to try each of these because it looks like there's like 50 different kinds. I think, I think I have to. <laughs> we have to try every one. Yeah, this one's like, that one's like a, what are those called, like a wafers or whatever? What it's called? Like uh, you get the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Are these wafers? Yeah. Okay. Those are good stuff. I like those. I like there's a little raspberry in the center on that cook right there. Oh, it's trying not to dominate the bag, and sure enough, unsuccessful adventure. Oh, here we go, dude. I don't got no chocolate covered pretzels. What did I say? What did I say before you opened it? I said they look out of place. They're like they shouldn't be there because they're because they're not there. That's why. <laughs> you got one, one out of <laughs> Literally, I think that's it. Oh, there you go. We're both gonna right, try, yeah. try one. Got two in the bag here. All right. I think we got everything. Just, this, this wafer's calling my name right here. Go for the Take wafers the, first. Yep, absolutely. Let's see what Germany has to offer in the wafer department. I think. Uh, mm. I think. It's like Howard might have a little bit of a. German heritage here, so. Well, if you do, then I do. <laughs> Isn't that right, Howard? That's correct. We, I don't know if you know us, we may be slightly related here. A little bit. An old way for them to learn. They are. I could eat a whole freaking bag of those suckers. Oh, like, melts. You bite God, into it. Dang, I'm going to set melts. that one to the side and have another one of those guys. When it's all said and done. I'm going to go after this guy next right here. Yeah. It's like it's, a, let's not even rate them individually. Let's just go to town and see what ones like a, our favorite. Like a sugar cookie with like a raspberry center. It's like a chewy center. That tastes similar to what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, that's good too. Sugar cookie with a chewy fruit center. That one's all right. Where's the cinnamon bun looking ones? Oh, there's one. Is that it? <laughs> Do we have to dig for another one? Is that, I think so. I wonder if it's the same as these, just different design. Doesn't it look like the same? It'd be the same thing, just... Yeah, I think it got a heart be. versus the swirl. Yeah. I'll take the heart one. Hmm. That's got a little mild like flavor. Two flavors or no? I'm only getting one. I thought like the swirl would be like a brown sugar or something. I'm just getting one flavor and it's very mild. Yeah. There's not much flavor in that one. What do you think? No. If this was a bag of uh, Chex Mix, those would be the Chex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Can't go wrong with a chocolate covered pretzel. Mm -hmm. Right. Do those up. Can't screw that. You can't screw that up too bad, right? Only it's not a pretzel. Uh, only except for it's not a pretzel. It's basically that cookie that we just had. It's chocolate. It's good. Covered in chocolate. It's yeah. good chocolate, man. Mm-hmm. That's like a, a real dark chocolate. In most cases, I actually prefer dark chocolate over oh, yeah. milk chocolate. 
I'm not some huge, circumstances. I'm not a huge sweet guy. I know we try a lot of candy and stuff on this, but like day to day, I don't eat sweets usually. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, so I, I, I prefer more of like bitter chocolate than like something sugary. Right. Yeah, I go in. I go in phases where I don't eat sweets for like a long time, extended period, and then all of a sudden I'm craving them for like a few weeks and I'll stop again. But I do prefer chocolate. Uh, There's definitely dark. like bittersweet. Mm hmm. Yep. Hopefully, this is the same kind of chocolate on these little. These little doodads here. I don't know if you guys have been seeing the cookies. <laughs> I'm doing a great job holding them up. Oh, dang. That is good. Wow. Holy, Holy smoke. Wow. The whole Boy, thing is, is just filled with that chocolate air. Yeah. Dang, those things are good. You know them right away. Right away. Wow. I mean, that's worth the whole price of it right there. <laughs> Dude, that's good stuff. Now, which is your favorite so far, the wafers or those? That's close. I feel like that's very similar to wafers. Just got the the ratio of chocolate versus like the wafer is more chocolate, and then the wafer is more wafer with a little bit of chocolate. So, yep, they're both really good. Those are my top two for sure. And these like shell looking ones. This is the only one we haven't tried. Yep. All the cookies have a very similar, yeah, like taste. Some of them got chocolate coating, some are plain. Like the inside, more plain. I thought that was gonna be like solid chocolate. It's like a very thin layer. The inside of the pretzel was pretty much like what this cookie's made out of. Those were only pretzels in shape, so they weren't actually like right. <laughs> exactly. Man, that's why I say it looks funny with the freaking pretzels there. It's like they're you know. Shouldn't it's out of place? What? But really, they're not because they're just a cookie that's shaped like pretzel. Why is it? Why is it so hard to like find German stuff around? Like they don't do a lot of exporting. Maybe I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Because I scour Where'd the internet for this stuff. Uh, I think these actually came from Amazon. Did they? Which is rarity because like sometimes you can find German stuff on there, but they're. The price is like four or five times what you think it would, should be. Wow. Like, dude. Shoot, kicks his brother. Lived in Germany for a while. We should have him freaking stock up and bring us back home. Man. What were we thinking? Germany. Yeah, going back for the way for us. Oh, I got to compare it to these. That's what I'm saying. Bring us back home to the kids. Here, it's going to... I'm gonna dive in and just run around the house like oh, little squirrels. I bet. <laughs> what are you gonna rate uh, German cookies overall? This is our first impression of uh, German food. It, remind, it reminds me of those. I'm not sure why we start with cookies, but. <laughs> it reminds me of like the assorted, like Christmas time, holiday cookies, and I've always really liked those, so. I'm digging these ones. I'd probably give these overall as. Uh, Probably eight out of ten. I'd say. Like better than Oreos, would you think? Nah. Oh wow. The very apples and oranges. Depends on the mood. Yeah, it really. It depends. You up here. I'd get, I get rarely. The bag overall, seven out of ten, personally. I rarely have Oreos, but they're freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I won't have one for like a year, then I'll just eat an Oreo and be like, "Oh yeah, my so god!" Oreos, that, Oreos do edge, edge these out. Yeah, I think so. Safe. Yeah. Right. I don't know what we got planned next week. We're gonna have to uh, figure that out. Still, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below. And hey, maybe Kicks might even be with us next time. So you can drag him out of his house. Tune in, same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs> We're here every Wednesday. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and checking out some more videos from us. There's a link to Kix's page below. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a thumbs up.